So, how do you like your game? Praise Saint Mika. We got out of there with our heads on our shoulders. Who told you to walk right into that hell? And just who are you hinting at? Oh, that's simply unfair. Didn't I tell you that fat will turn you in? Didn't I tell you that you shouldn't go to Arata? Didn't I? Answer me! Oh, sure. Blame it on the quest for Rumata. Why don't you tell me now that all the demons in hell made a plot to destroy you and then take over the world? I won't argue that I didn't expect such a turnaround either. But who doesn't make mistakes? And who could have imagined that some brain-dead count with his lackey are seeking Rumata as well? Unfortunately for you, you probably won't succeed. And remember to be optimistic. Arata is thinking that Rumata is a god who came down from the skies, right? His Grace, Count Ramon, is also collecting information regarding Don Rumata, but as far as we know, he didn't have much success, right? And can all this be evidence that they also know that Rumata might indeed be a god, so they're seeking him out for this very reason? I'm getting at the point that we actually have a great advantage over them. Because we know where to look for these gods or whatever they might be. Father Kabani, by the way, just said the same thing. Oh, to think that you, sir, have much of a choice. You're positively swamped with offers of duties followed by a decent pension and a great compensation for your inconsolable widow. That is, if you actually have a wife to become a widow, in case you get yourself killed. I, for one, think that, in fact, you can only choose between the executioner's block in the Empire or the gallows in the courtyard of Ramon's castle. Do you agree? Right. And then no one dares to hurt us. Well, you're right to some extent, but I myself would feel much better if your head stays on your shoulders and is not tied with a hemp rope. I just like seeing you well and healthy. Think of it as just a display of my selfishness. You're saying that it was me who got you into trouble? I advise you, my young friend, to think first and then act, not vice versa. And stop listening to every random Cretan trying to give you advice. Nothing's easier than giving stupid advice. Who else? Ugh, I'm tired of you. Goodbye. I always have to do everything myself. <laughs>